A big hello to everyone, this is Tatiana, and welcome to my channel. Today I am recreating the strangest nail hacks off of Instagram. This is already part two of my nail hack series. You all really enjoyed my first video, so are you ready for some more Instagram nail hacks? Let's get started. Our first design will be this cute but mostly strange snow globe. The nail tech that I saw on Instagram used a special nail tip for this, but since I don't have this, I'm going to have to improvise. So I'm taking a clear builder gel and dipping the tip of this bottle's lid into the gel, and then once it has evened down, I'm curing it underneath the lamp. After letting it cure, I'm removing any stickiness and a perfect round form for our little snow globe. I really didn't think it was going to turn out that nicely, so I was pretty happy about that. However, this is just the beginning. I'm taking a nail tip, coating it in a gel polish for our background, and then applying a white poly gel that I'm using to secure our small globe. Through this small hole on the side, I'll be able to insert all kinds of decorations. So I'm taking a whole assortment of different glitters and shapes. After I had sealed it up and let it cure, I realized that I had forgotten the most important part, the oil. In order to have all of those small decorations floating around beautifully, the oil is a must. So unfortunately, this means that I'm going to have to drill another hole. By the way, this step has to be done with oil and not water. Otherwise, the small decor inside won't float around but simply fall. I've inserted the oil and now with a small bit of clear poly gel, I'm sealing it back up. Now I can finally seal our snow globe in a top coat, giving this little globe even more shine. I was really so surprised by how this turned out. It really looks like a small snow globe with all the little decorations floating around inside. This nail hack is a go. It works and it wasn't too difficult. Now onto our next nail hack. This nail tech on Instagram created different stamping techniques with a ruler. So I went to the store and bought a similar ruler with different shapes. So I'm taking a gel polish for stamping and applying it directly to my silicone stamper. And then I'm pressing this against the desired shape on the ruler. The shape has stayed perfectly on the stamper and the rest has transferred to the ruler. Now to apply it to our nail tip. At first, I applied the polish on a little too thickly, which took a long time to cure and resulted in an uneven edge. Therefore, we're trying this again. Just look at how quick and even these shapes are going on. And this method is definitely a lot easier than having to draw everything by hand. This was so much fun to experiment with, and I'm really looking forward to actually using this nifty nail hack in the future. In order to easily clean the ruler, make sure to immediately rub it down with a dehydrator while the polish is still wet. To complete this fun design, I've decided to add some spider gel. This nail hack really is a great one, and I can't wait to use it with my clients. This next nail hack is definitely an unusual one because we're using netting. A lot of you on Instagram specifically sent me this variant of the design, which I also thought would be the best to recreate. 
You, my subscribers, have helped me out so much in finding these cool and unusual nail hacks. So if you want to see more of these nail hack videos, send them to me on Instagram. I'm always happy to read your messages. So I went to my nearest craft store, got some netting, and brought out all of my little acrylic powders that are beautiful and smell terribly. I'm applying our material in a thin layer and waiting for it to dry. After the acrylic has dried mostly, I'm applying a small piece of our netting and pressing it to our nail. Once the material has fully dried, I'm carefully removing the netting and we're left with this little corn on the cob. Now for some contrast. For this, I'm using a black acrylic powder. Once that has fully dried, I'm taking my nail drill with soft abrasion and lightly filing down those high areas. It is pretty cool when one move of the nail drill creates art right before your eyes. And here they are. I do think this design is pretty cool, but perhaps next time in different colors. This next nail hack was done with builder gel, however, I decided to simplify it and use these super cool nail tips. They are especially made for this fun aquarium design, and this kit even comes with a syringe. These nail tips fit perfectly to the ends of your nail and can be attached with builder gel. These nail tips make everything super easy, as all you need to do is attach them. So let's test them out! Once I've attached the nail tip to the nail, I'm filling it with all sorts of pretty and sparkly elements. You can really add just about anything. Then I'm taking the syringe, which is filled with Johnson's baby oil, and filling the tip. To seal the very end, I'm taking a top coat, creating a thin backing, and then cutting it out and applying it like a piece of tape. As you can see from the mess on my table, this wasn't the first nail tip I used. It wasn't the easiest trying to keep everything inside. Then all that's left is to file down the unevenness and coat everything in a top coat. Since these tips are just attached to the ends, they do look a little massive. They are pretty cool, but there wasn't enough room in these tips, uh, therefore the decorative elements aren't floating around so nicely. However, if you're wanting to save time and try out this strange nail hack, these aquarium nail tips might just be the thing. And now we are moving on to our next and last nail hack. I was sent this nail hack more times than I can count. For this nail hack, we're mixing drops of gel polish with monomer. Combining these two together should result in a colorful acrylic powder. You all started sending me these videos after I posted my video on creating acrylic powder using chalk, so now it's time to test this new nail hack. So I'm pouring some monomer and simply adding a few drops of gel polish, just like on Instagram. Then I'm taking an orange stick and thoroughly mixing the two together. Further, I'm taking a white acrylic powder and testing this slightly unbelievable nail hack. And as I lower it into the acrylic powder, it's actually colored. Just look at how pigmented and pretty this is. I really wasn't expecting for this to turn out so nice. So it does work, but do we need to cure it underneath the lamp? After all, there is gel polish. So I decided to test it and let it air dry. However, once I added the top coat, I still let it cure underneath the lamp. For those of you out there who might not be very well acquainted with this technique, it's the mixture of two different components in order to create extensions, acrylic powder and monomer. Combining these two together creates a thick gel-like product that dries without any use of a UV lamp. Another fun nail hack with acrylic powder is mixing glitter or other decorative elements into your acrylic powder. It creates a super pretty and glistening colorful powder, fun and easy.
So what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments section below which nail hack you liked the most and which one you'd like to try. And if you found this video helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.